Hey, welcome back. Welcome for the first time all around. Welcome. I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com, where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro verified copywriter for about the past seven years. And in today's Freelance Friday video, I'm giving you a look inside my life. I sleep for nine hours and 20 minutes every single night. And before you come at me in the comments, that's just my amount of sleep. It's perfect. I love it. So I'm going to start with catching up on messages that I missed overnight because I worked with clients all around the world. And then I think I'm going to try to just dive right into some work this morning. All right, so it's been 15, 20 minutes ish. Let's take this little dude outside. He's being impatient and get my day started. I recently discovered mocha pots. I've actually written a description for one company like three years ago. I had no idea what it was at the time and to do a lot of research, figure out how the heck it worked. After our trip to Italy, I am obsessed with it. I'm now making coffee every single morning. I will have the link to this mocha pot down below in the description. It'll be in a little affiliate link. If you're interested in checking it out, please do so. Cause I am so obsessed. And in a previous video, Megan Hurley asked how long it usually takes me to do a writing project. So one of the things I'm gonna try to do today is keep a view on how long I'm actually doing work work and kind of define that as well as I can. It's almost 10 o'clock. I'm ready to get started a bit. I'm gonna eat my breakfast of yogurt, blueberries, and pistachios right now. Drink my coffee while I kind of get back into things. I already have a whole list of notifications again that I need to respond back to for messages. And then I'm gonna dive into a bit of work. All right, so that was a 100 word description for a really cool sleeping alignment pillow. This is a repeat customer who I love working with. They're so easy and straightforward to work with. They also paid to skip my queue with three day delivery. So that was worth $65 and it took me about 15 minutes. Now I need to go move my sprinkler again before my lawn gets drowned. So that is another order done and checked off my list. That order was $180 for four also 100 word descriptions for an artisanal Mexican coffee brand. And that took me just over an hour to do, I think about 70 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go swim laps at the pool. I hurt myself in my marathon training and I'm still like rehabbing to get back into running in addition to strength training yoga and cycling and then a little bit of running. So I'm gonna answer some more messages that popped up and ooh, I need to transfer my earnings. I have a lot of money in my Fiverr account right now. So let's do that really quick too. All right, see you in a sec. All right, just finished from the pool, showered super quickly, and now I have a consulting call at 1.30. This is not something I do super frequently, but I did have a consulting call today and yesterday, weirdly enough. In this case, I am meeting with a guy who wants to talk through how he's going to position his brand as a coach for wholesaling. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me, Carrie? Perfect. For this order, that was $150 for a 45 minute consulting package. It was lovely chatting with him. In addition to the actual 45 minute call, then I also spent 15 minutes at the end just summarizing and cleaning up the notes that I took for him. And yesterday I spent about half an hour-ish going through and checking out links and drafting notes and kind of getting a start on my brainstorming process to prepare for the call. All right, so now it is 2.30. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. 
I am starving. It's almost three now by the time I'm finally sitting down to eat. My eyes have been too stimulated today, so I'm going to listen to my audiobook. And right now I'm listening to Educated, a memoir by Tara Westover. So far, really enjoying it. It's very engaging and interesting. Feed filled my head with their voices, which to me were more beautiful than anything except Buck's Peak. I have one more order to do today. I don't think it'll take me that long, but I'm getting sick of sitting at my desk and I just want to be done. So I'm gonna mix it up, sit on the floor for a bit. Hopefully just crack a lack this out. Done. Okay, so that was a 250 word email for a commercial cleaning company. That took me about 30 minutes. And if I didn't mention, that email was a $100 package. So now it's almost four o'clock and I'm done, completely done for the day. No two days are alike, but it's a day. Last thing I think before I pack up my workstation for at least a little bit. Tomorrow I have the unique and really exciting opportunity that I was invited to be a panelist for a Fiverr community event. I am the invited panelist, which is super fun. And it's gonna be a pretty chill conversation, like question answer thing, I think. But um, they did send a couple of potential questions that they're gonna talk through, or I, <laughs> I'm gonna talk through, I guess. So before I pack things up, I just wanna spend a little bit of time going through those questions and make sure that I have at least some cohesive thoughts prepared. Very, very excited about that opportunity. It's just so cool. I'm just, it's so cool. <laughs> And then from this point on, our evening took a really weird turn. This is how day in life goes. Some days just are weird. We had a bit of a family emergency and had to drive up to a hospital to visit someone and they are okay and everything's fine. That changed the way that I thought the evening was gonna go. I was just planning on relaxing, having a glass or two of wine. We're gonna play a board game that I love and just hang out. And so that's why this video is ending so abruptly is because our day pretty much ended that abruptly. But in general, I hope that is mildly interesting for you. That is a very honest look into what a average day looks like for me. As I mentioned, no two days are the same in terms of the kind of gigs that I'm offering every day, the amount of time I spend every day, the amount of money I make every day, and of course the kind of topics that I'm writing for every day. It's all different, so just take it with a grain of salt. More than anything with this channel, I just want to give kind of an honest, transparent look of what it's really like to be a full-time career freelancer. It is a real job, copywriting is very real, and it is not always as glamorous as the work anywhere in the world on the beach, make a billion dollars for doing nothing kind of lifestyle that I think a lot of people say. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you like my content. I post every single Freelance Friday and I am always looking forward to creating content that resonates with my little growing community. And I will see you in the next one. Let's get back to work.